YouTube channel. Today we're doing a makeup tutorial on this look right here. And I wanted to go a little bit bold and colourful today, but I also wanted to do something really simple and easy so that everybody can do it at home. So let me know if you like it down in the comments below and don't forget to give it a big thumbs up if you do. And subscribe and if you want to see how we got this makeup look, then keep watching. I have already started my face makeup because I didn't want this video to be too boring because you see me apply my foundation and concealer and that every week. But I'll leave in the description box all the products that I've used already and I'll also leave my video from last week because I've used near enough exactly the same method in applying my foundation and things like that over there. We're starting off with the eyes today and I'm using the Tartlet in the Bloom palette and this is probably one of my favourite palettes that I've bought recently. It's so pretty and it's got lots of really nice shades. We're not going to be going too hardcore today with the eyeshadow, I'm going to try not to anyway. So I'm going to start off by using the two palest shades which are Charmer and Flower Child. And I'm using a little bit more of Charmer because I want the lid to be quite light. I have already prepped it with concealer as well so this is just going to set everything in place and leave a really nice light coloured base. And you can take this all the way up to the brow as well. I just want everything to be set in place. To add a little bit of definition into the crease, I'm gonna use this shade right here, which is called Smarty Pants. And I don't want this too smoked out, so I'm gonna apply my brush into the crease and try and keep as much product in that area. I'm just following my natural crease and just going back and forth in the same area, not blending it out too far. Next I'm going to pick up Jet Setter which is the shade just above but it's just a little bit more cooler in tone and I'm going to use this in the same way but I'm only keeping it into the outer half of the eye. So for the lid I'm just going to apply a loose pigment and I'm going to use the Too Faced Shadow Insurance Glitter Glue so that's got something to stick to and I'm just taking some of the glitter glue on my finger and I'm just going to tap it on all over the lid where I want it. I'm going to apply the majority into the centre and then just blend it out to either corner. And the pigment that I'm using is the MAC Reflex Gold. So I'm just taking some on a flat brush and then I'm going to pat it into the centre and then blend it out to each side. Moving on to eyeliner and I really fancy a bold wing today. So I'm going to use the Maybelline Eye Studio Black Gel Liner and I'm using that on this Zoeva 315 Fine Liner Brush. For the under eyes I'm just going to take a little bit of Smarty Pants and I'm using a pencil brush for this and I'm just blending a little bit underneath here and then I'm taking a little bit of Jet Setter which is the other darker shade we used and just using that in the outer corner Moving on to mascara, I'm going to use the Maybelline The Falsies and this is another one of my absolute favourite mascaras and I really love the wand on this one. I'm 
Now I'm just going to get my false lashes ready and today I want to use the Huda Beauty Scarlet Lashes but they might be a little bit too big so I'm going to apply them and see how I feel and then I can just swap them if they look a little bit too much. So here are the lashes and I've decided to stick with the Scarlet Lashes because I haven't used them for ages and I think they're really nice. So let's move on to finish the face. I'm going to start by using Benefit's Hula Bronzer and I'm just taking that on a angled brush. And I'm just taking this just to contour a little bit and then bringing it up onto the cheek as well. Moving on to Maxi of Miso, I'm going to apply that with this Bare Minerals brush. I'm going to apply a little bit of blush and I'm using Il Masca's Lover. Okay, let's do highlight before we do lips. I'm going to start off by using MAC Soft and Gentle. And then I'm also going to use Anastasia Beverly Hills Illuminator in the shade So Hollywood. And I'm also going to apply some of this under the brow. Going down the nose. And then also into the inner corners as well. Okay, moving on to lips, I'm first just going to wipe off the lip balm that I applied earlier. And I really wanted to do a bright lip today, so I'm going to do a bold pink lip. And I'm going to line and fill them in first with this Illamasqua lip pencil. And it's in the shade Temptress. Lastly, I'm going to go over the lips with this lipstick from MAC and it's called Pleasure Balm. So that completes today's video guys, I really hope you enjoyed it. Let me know what you think down in the comments below with any suggestions as well on what you want to see next on my channel. Don't forget to give this video a big thumbs up and subscribe and I'll see you soon, bye!